Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is your weekly bonus love reading. We'll have a look and see what's coming up in the cards for you in matters of love. Um, this is a very general reading. Um, otherwise, if you were after a private reading, please feel free to um, reach out. I will be reading some reversals, so we'll see what the cards can reveal in regards to this situation. Um, Taurus, what's coming up for you? Okay, one-sidedness is coming up. You're coming up as the nine and the six of pentacles, but the six of pentacles is you needing to give more. You're not in a place where you feel like you can give enough for some reason, Taurus. Um, and also the fact that the six of cups is reversed already says that there's no there's no exchange there's no um there's no give and take happening here in the relationship there's there's a lack of agreement or lack of compromise which is evidence with the three of pentacles it says often like working through issues building a wall building solutions building solid foundations that's reverse taurus um so there's something that you, you need to reach some sort of agreement here with your special person, but it doesn't seem to be working. You can't come together with some sort of agreement here. Potentially, you're not seeing eye to eye with your person. Um, I feel like there might be, because the Ace of Wands, you know, we see this very intimidating, somewhat like a trunk or like a totem pole. It can also be a phallic symbol here. Um, it's so intimidating. It's so it's like the elephant in the room, Taurus, but you can't seem to address it or you can't just can't seem to work through it. Um, maybe you're not in the best position. So the six of uh, six of pentacles, it's almost like you've given so much to someone and you may not be getting much in return. And because of that, you might be sort of shutting down a little bit. Nine of pentacles would indicate someone is unhappy here. Someone is unhappy in a connection uh, or there's lack of complacency here. There's lack of comfort. Um, and this could have something to do with this lack of giving, uh, something about giving and taking. Um, we see the hangman. The hangman is reversed. Okay, the hangman is normally representing things like punishment, being left in suspense. And you can see he's sort of in the water here. And then we see the piranhas ready to consume his body. So, um, but this is reversed. So it's either there's no consequence or punishment for something that's going on here. Now we see the law, the, the scales of justice. So I feel like this is justice that is needed in a situation. Um, but the hangman is reversed. So the punishment or the, the consequence is not here. So it's either something's happening here and you're not voicing up about it, Taurus, or potentially there's, there's unhappiness here, but you're not doing anything about it. You're not taking action. The ace of wands would indicate it is a time to take action and stand your ground um, and be, you know, sort of confront the issue because I feel like the ace of wands is quite confronting when we look at it. Um, it's also like reaching new heights in a situation, but unfortunately for some of you, you're either not there yet or you don't want to be there, but yet you're unhappy, Taurus. So you're sort of um, stuck, I would say, in between a rock and a hard place, unsure about where to take what you have in front of you. For some of you, there may be someone who has or will be coming back begging and pleading. We can see these characters here who are desperate in a situation here, Taurus. So there might be someone here who's desperate for you. Um, you are coming up as a six of pentacles. So I feel like they, they are desperate for your attention. They're desperate maybe for forgiveness or they're desperate to make things right again. But for some reason, they're sort of like you're unhappy or you're not in a place where you want to talk and perhaps you're not ready. The opportunity may represent itself and the Ace of Wands would indicate that maybe a, a new beginning is possible between yourself and this person. But for some reason, Taurus, you're not there yet and that's okay. Six of Cups can represent the past. Um, it often represents things like sweetness, memories, nostalgia, but it's reversed here. So the past is reversed. Maybe you haven't forgiven someone yet for what they've done or this lack of giving and taking. Um, and maybe you're waiting to see a vast improvement in their behavior before you take the relationship forward. Uh, and if you don't see that, if you don't see that, then it's, it's you know, you're not in a place where 
You're not in a place where you want to move forward. The nine is reverse. Nine is a number of fulfillment. Uh, nine is a number of getting something like completing it, working through the issues, and then moving on to the next cycle. But for some reason, the nine is reversed. The new beginning is here, but I don't think you're ready to move into that period um, of the connection yet. Or it could be like with the hangman, you don't know, you don't know what it is that you need to do to show this person you, they've hurt you, or to show this person that this behavior is unacceptable, or that it needs to be 50-50. There needs to be equality here, but the hangman would indicate that. You're unsure about how to how to treat the situation, like whether to give them the silent treatment, whether to give them an ultimatum, maybe whether to dump them, maybe to walk away or even make them jealous. So there could be confusion um, about those sorts of things, about how you should react or what is the right way to react uh, to that. Uh, some of you could be having tensions, especially if you have like a family dynamic, you've got children or grandchildren, there could be tensions um, that could flare up uh, this connection, this relationship, the marriage, etc. So you may come to experience that. I think you are giving yourself time, Taurus, or there's a message that you do need to give yourself time to sort of balance things out again. I don't know if this is a Libra as well, because the the sign, the zodiac sign of Libra is represented by the scales. So for some of you, it could be about someone or with someone under the sign of a Libra. Um, Libras are ruled by Venus, just like you. So there's a connection here for some. Um, but Venus represents all things romantic, erotic, sexual, um, and beautiful now, for some of you, the Ace of Wands, that phallic symbol, there is a very strong sexual connection, but unfortunately, you can't seem to move past it being just sexual, um, or there's someone that is giving so much of themselves to you, you either don't want them, or it's you giving too much of yourself, and this person not wanting something more. So it could be a purely sexual attraction that's being built around, um, and, you know, maybe you're unhappy with that, maybe you want something more but you can't seem to move forward. The nine you use reversed. You can't seem to make, you know, to move past this. And you might be begging and pleading for something more because you feel like that's what you want, but that's not maybe what you're trying to get at or maybe not exactly what you're trying to receive. But I think it's a lot to do with the theme of giving and taking. Uh, Taurus, I think that is, I think that is a big one for you this week, potentially. Um, or seeing that returning favors, returning the treatment. I think that's a big one for you. I will leave your reading at that, Taurus. So I do hope it's been helpful. Um, please remember it is a general reading. And if you would like a personal one, please feel free to reach out. Uh, my email is listed below. So uh, please feel free to have a browse.